Ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency, Nord gratefully acknowledges Nicholas Amu, MD, Assistant Professor of Pediatrics, Children's National Medical Center, for assistance in the preparation of this report. Synonyms of Ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency Hyperaminemia due to ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency Ornithine carbamyl transferase deficiency OTC deficiency General Discussion Ornithine transcarbamylase OTC, deficiency is a rare X-linked genetic disorder characterized by complete or partial lack of the enzyme ornithine transcarbamylase OTC. OTC is one of six enzymes that play a role in the breakdown and removal of nitrogen in the body, a process known as the urea cycle. The lack of the OTC enzyme results in excessive accumulation of nitrogen, in the form of ammonia, hyperaminemia, in the blood. Excess ammonia, which is a neurotoxin, travels to the central nervous system through the blood, resulting in the symptoms and physical findings associated with OTC deficiency. Symptoms include vomiting, refusal to eat, progressive lethargy, and coma. Signs and symptoms. The severity and age of onset of OTC deficiency vary from person to person, even within the same family. A severe form of the disorder affects some infants, typically males, shortly after birth, neonatal period. Form of the disorder affects some children later in infancy. Both males and females may develop symptoms of OTC deficiency during childhood. Most carrier females are healthy, but may be prone to severe headaches following protein intake. Children and adults with mild forms of the disorder may only have a partial OTC enzyme deficiency and therefore a greater tolerance to protein in the diet. Male infants with a severe form of the disorder often have a complete lack of the OTC enzyme. The severe form of OTC deficiency occurs in some affected males anywhere between 24 hours to a few days after birth, usually following a protein feeding. Initial symptoms may include refusal to eat, poor suck, vomiting, progressive lethargy, and irritability. The disorder may rapidly progress to include seizures, diminished muscle tone, hypotonia, an enlarged liver, hepatomegaly, and respiratory abnormalities. Affected infants and children may also exhibit the accumulation of fluid, edema, within the brain. If left untreated, infants with a severe form of OTC deficiency may fall into coma and may potentially develop neurological abnormalities such as intellectual disability, developmental delays, and cerebral palsy. The longer an infant remains in hyperaminemic coma the greater the chance neurological abnormalities may develop. In most cases, the longer an infant is in hyperaminemic coma the more severe these neurological abnormalities become. If left untreated, hyperaminemic coma may result in life-threatening complications. Some infants and children may have a milder form of OTC deficiency. These infants and children may not exhibit symptoms of OTC deficiency until later during life. Children who develop OTC deficiency later during life often express the disorder during an episode of illness, and present with hyperaminemia at that time. These episodes can recur, alternating between periods of wellness. During a hyperaminemic episode, affected children may experience vomiting, lethargy, and irritability. Additional symptoms may include confusion or delirium, hyperactivity, self-mutilation such as biting oneself, and an impaired ability to coordinate voluntary movements, ataxia. If left untreated a hyperaminemic episode may progress to coma and life-threatening complications. OTC deficiency may not become apparent until adulthood. Adults who have OTC deficiency may exhibit migraines, nausea, difficulty forming words, dysarthria, and impaired ability to coordinate voluntary movements, ataxia, confusion, hallucinations, and blurred vision. Causes OTC deficiency is inherited as an X-linked genetic condition. X-linked genetic disorders are conditions caused by an abnormal gene on the X chromosome and manifest mostly in males. Females that have a defective gene present on one of their X chromosomes are carriers for that disorder. Carrier females usually do not display symptoms because females have two X chromosomes and only one carries the defective gene. However, approximately 20% of female carriers of the OTC gene are symptomatic. Males have one X chromosome that is inherited from their mother and if a male inherits an X chromosome that contains a defective gene he will develop the disease. Many males with OTC deficiency have an abnormal OTC gene as the result of a new mutation as opposed to a mutation inherited from the mother. Female carriers of an X-linked disorder have a 25% chance with each pregnancy to have a carrier daughter like themselves, a 25% chance to have a non-carrier daughter, a 25% chance to have a son affected with the disease and a 25% chance to have an unaffected son. 
If a male with X-linked disorders is able to reproduce, he will pass the defective gene to all of his daughters who will be carriers. A male cannot pass an X-linked gene to his sons because males always pass their Y chromosome instead of their X chromosome to male offspring. Affected populations. OTC deficiency affects males more often than females and is fully expressed in males only. In males, symptoms typically begin during the first few days of life. Late onset OTC deficiency can present later in childhood, but may also occur with onset at 40-50 years of age. Approximately 20% of carrier females have mild symptoms of the disorder and rarely may be severely affected in childhood. Some women who are carriers may not experience abnormally high levels of ammonia, hyperammonemia, until pregnancy or delivery. The estimated frequency of OTC deficiency is 150,000-80,000. The estimated frequency of urea cycle disorders collectively is 135,000. However, because urea cycle disorders like OTC deficiency often go unrecognized, these disorders are underdiagnosed, making it difficult to determine the true frequency of urea cycle disorders in the general population. Related disorders. Symptoms of the following disorders can be similar to those of ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency. Comparisons may be useful for a differential diagnosis. The urea cycle disorders are a group of rare disorders affecting the urea cycle, a series of biochemical processes in which nitrogen is converted into urea and removed from the body through the urine. Nitrogen is a waste product of protein metabolism. The symptoms of all urea cycle disorders vary in severity and result from the excessive accumulation of ammonia in the blood and body tissues, hyperammonemia. Common symptoms include lack of appetite, vomiting, drowsiness, seizures, and or coma. The liver may be abnormally enlarged, hepatomegaly. In some individuals, life-threatening complications may result.